Okay, so from up above, we have this expression 480, because that's one and a half servings, plus 15x for the number of treats. And we want to know if river consumes between 510 and 540 calories per day. So 540 would be up here, and 510 would be down here. And we're going to put a less than or equal to, and a less than or equal to. This is saying river can't go over 540 calories, but can have exactly 540 calories as the maximum and doesn't go under 510, but can have exactly 510. How many treats would that be? Because that's what our X is here. We don't know how many treats this dog is getting to be between those. We know that the dog gets some treats because 480 does not match either this or this, right? So let's go ahead and simplify this. We're going to subtract the 480 from both all three areas of the inequality. And 510 minus 480 is 30, is less than or equal to 15x. Oops, and I left my x off. Is less than or equal to 540 minus 480 is going to be 60. And I've run out of room to do my division right underneath there, but we're going to divide by 15 on everything to get that x in the middle by itself. 2 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 4. So what we found is that river can have at least 2 and at most 4. treats per day. Okay, I want you guys as a table to try number four. Enrique plans a diet for his dog River. River consumes between 510 and 540 calories a day. Where's the difference here? Suppose River has new treats that are 10 calories each instead of the 15. How many of the new treats can she have and remain in her calorie range? So what's gonna change in your inequality? The 15X is gonna change to 10X. See if you can figure out the new amount of treats and I think that River is gonna get more, right? Because they're less calories. 